lost my instructor for a little while. So uh, what would you say are, have been the biggest struggles you've had so far on the violin up to this point? Uh, teaching this hand to do one thing and this hand to do something completely opposite. That's uh, <laughs> like, um, don't press so hard with this hand. So when I ease up with this hand, I ease up with this hand. It's like, okay, no, I, I, need, to, I, I need to press down with this finger and not press down with these fingers. It's, the coordination is the hardest part. Yep, so those that can't do this sort of have trouble, I think, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me, that's me. Okay, cool. I love it, though. I'll, I'll sit and struggle for hours. It's fun. <laughs> I appreciate you joining us. So, um, yeah, so this is uh, welcome to Zoom. So everybody here, uh, this is our first sort of official class. And um, basically, it's a class where you guys can just sort of get used to the platform and seeing if it's something that's going to work for you guys going forward for the groups. Uh, right now, we actually have uh, three violin teachers here, uh, including Diane Atkins, who's technically my manager at Violin Tutor Pro. So, Diane, do you want to say hello real quick? Hey, everybody. Glad to see you're here. So, Diane, you've been playing for a while, and you, you are uh, always posting in intercom. So, um, do you recognize a lot of the faces, a lot of the names here? I do. I, I recognize everybody, almost. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Every, all the... All the the diehard loyal people. So welcome, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we also have with us Suzanne Cox. Uh, she's uh, sort of a new violin teacher that's uh, been following us and um, she's done a great job for us. So Suzanne, do you want to quick say hello to everybody? Hi everybody, I'm Suzanne. Um, I live in Singham, Oregon and I'm about 12 years now and I've got a private studio here with 30 private students so looking forward to working with some of you guys very good so yeah uh, basically the way that this platform works is um, you know a violin teacher would come on and uh, help out as far as giving an assignment uh, we'd be going through certain you know materials uh, based on you know maybe Suzuki we're gonna be doing like maybe a scale with um, you know an etude and, uh, and learn a certain piece but we're also going to have like fiddle classes. We're going to have, um, you know, how to do vibrato. So for example, on Wednesday, I'm actually doing a vibrato course, um, an hour workshop, I called it. So you guys can actually get some tips on vibrato and everybody that's here, it's going to be up to 10 people will actually be able to, um, you know, show me their vibrato and then I'll be able to give you guys specific tips based on what I see. So the advantage of these group classes are basically that, you know, you guys can get that one-on-one uh, -on -one feedback. And then I also am really excited just about the interaction. So, I mean, we all get to know each other. Uh, I used to do this back in 2013 and I uh, had this vision of just having all these students that just get into these classes and just have a great time and learn the violin. But yeah, it was sort of limited by technology. But now it's exciting that we actually have it working where um, we actually have a couple of different softwares that are working that are really great. And now it seems like the Zoom platform is really, really good and it's working well. So I'm actually on my phone right now, believe it or not. And uh, you guys can hopefully hear me and see me okay. And um, yeah, I'm just sitting at home, hanging out. And eventually, you know, I'll be able to teach some classes. So, um, and I just got a phone call. So I don't know if there was an interruption there. <laughs> cool. So, um, so yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, we actually have a feature uh, with this Zoom platform where you guys can actually raise your hand digitally. So you just press a little button and then I'm able to see who's raising their hand. So why don't we try that out? So if maybe one of you guys uh, wants to do the raise hand feature, I'd be able to see that and, um, you know, sort of take some questions. So it's a new platform. It's going to take some getting used to, but it really is a very simple platform. And uh, I've noticed just it being really simple and everybody so far has seemed to really think it works well so okay I just saw one raise of hand um, shoot I I don't know who did it though we try it. okay Meg raised her hand okay hey Meg go ahead you have a question Meg no you said to test it so I raised my oh, hand oh I'm sorry okay yeah if you guys <laughs> all want to test it out um, that's fine I just was maybe thinking you guys might have questions as well so I'm actually able to see who raises hands. So Kate just raised her hand. Fran just raised her hand. Um, yep, I just saw, uh, yep, Paul just raised his hand. Cool, so that's really nice so that, you know, as we're doing these group classes, 
uh, you guys can actually, you know, if you guys have a specific question, you guys can just do that and then I can call on you and, and help you out. So uh, all the group classes are going to be between a half hour and an hour. Uh, and all the specs of the classes are going to be listed on the uh, Violence Group Pro website. So we actually have it now where we have a tab. It's called Group Lessons, Group Classes. And it's going to have um, capabilities for you guys to sign up to uh, see exactly what's going to be included in these classes, uh, including, you know, what books we're going to be using, what sort of uh, vision we have. Uh, some of them are going to be two classes. Some are going to be four classes. Uh, and you can sign up for them ahead of time. Uh, it's really cool, too. You guys get notified once the class sort of uh, um, is signed up for. You guys will get emails with links right at the bottom that you can click right on the link and you go right into the class. So um, it's really, really simple. Uh, I think so far you guys seem to be um, – I see smiles on all your faces, so I figure things are going pretty well so far. Um, but, yeah, why don't I go ahead and – uh, unraise people's hands and then see if anybody wants to raise their hands right now. Uh, starting at, let me see right now, if you guys want to raise your, okay. Uh, Paul, how you doing? Go ahead. Uh, you just have to unmute yourself. Um, I went on, I got your link and I was on my cell phone and I went and I saw a couple different classes you had. Did, are there other classes that you did or were those just like test formats? Because there was a class for tomorrow that I signed up for, is that an actual class? Yes, uh, so here's sort of the lineup I have going on. Um, I have um, a class tomorrow morning at 11 that's gonna be similar to what we have going on here. So if you guys are interested in signing up for that, uh, you can do that right through the website. Um, then tomorrow evening, there's another class that you signed up for, Paul, I saw that come through. That's our Suzuki book one class. So basically for the next four weeks, um, I'm gonna be teaching uh, students how to sort of play the gavat out of the Suzuki book one. So uh, I have links on that page as far as uh, you guys can sign up and get maybe the book if you don't have it yet. And uh, yeah, for the next four weeks, I'm going to be sort of trying to train you, Paul, and uh, help you out with uh, how to play that song, give you some technique tips. Well, my only question is, and I just went and bought the book today after I signed up for the class, but uh, I hadn't looked at it yet. Do Am I at that? And I didn't know if I'm at that point where I can do that. So I'll go look at it. I, I don't know if it's on a page and there's notes, I can, I can do it. So. Good. Yeah. And uh, the teachers have the ability to sort of give like the specifications of each class. So maybe they'd say, uh, yeah, we'd love for you to practice this before the class starts. Um, technically it's tomorrow. So I'm not expecting too much at this point. Um, but yeah, you know, we could put on there also notes that students would be able to get like, you know, maybe work on this this week. This is sort of the, uh, things that would be best to be worked on. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really great. It sort of reminds me sort of a, of a college, uh, you know, sign up type thing. You know, you have different sort of, um, you know, curriculum and you sign up for whatever you want. And then some of them are going to be harder than others. So I actually define level one through nine. So like level one is like very, very basic. Um, like you've never played violin before. And then um, level five is more like, hey, you have to be able to do like, you know, high positions on the violin, which Paul, I'm guessing you don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> um, and then level nine would be like concerto uh, training. So that would be for really advanced. So it's sort of, yeah, level one through nine. And uh, right on the website, it's really cool. You guys can actually do sorting. So you can sort of sort only the level one classes or level twos, maybe only classes taught by certain teachers. Um, it's a really great platform. I set that up yesterday and I'm really excited about it. So um, you guys will be able to sort of see uh, what's available. Obviously, there's only so many available right now because I only have so much time. Um, but we have six violin teachers and viola teachers that are going to be creating classes and we're training them right now. So, um, they're going to be listing a lot of classes. So hopefully by say the end of next week, we'll have like, you know, 20 classes available. And some of them are going to be just like we have what we're doing today, as far as like an introductory course where teachers will sort of, uh, explain what their vision is, um, you know, about themselves. Some of you guys might just not know the teacher. So yeah, and those are all free. So if you guys are interested in just getting to know the platform and sort of it's gonna work for you, that those are really good. Those are free to sign up for. So um, I see a couple other questions. Uh, Kate, how you doing, Kate? I saw that you had your hand raised, so I'm calling on you, unless that was a mistake. Uh, you might have to unmute yourself. Yeah, are the classes on the web page? Uh, yeah, it's really simple. We you guys go to uh, violentutorpro.com, 
Oh, and okay. There's actually um, a, a link at the top. I actually even made it on the, I put it on the homepage. Um, oh, where, okay. Well, that's really cool. I'm actually able to see somebody browsing um, the website right now. Who, who is that? That's really cool. Is that you, Kate? No, that's you. <laughs> okay. It's not me. So that's interesting. Okay, cool. So no, yeah, I didn't do that. It's Paul. It's uh, if you go down to the bottom of your screen, there's a new share page, and you can share your page. Uh, oh, okay. That is awesome. I love and, it. And stop share, like so. That's so cool. Uh, okay, so obviously okay, right there. Okay, and I have a, a second question. I thought Suzuki lessons were, or the Suzuki book was more for children. Is oh that yeah, true? that's a great question. Yeah, technically the Suzuki method is uh, a children's method being that you actually don't need to learn to read the music. You just learn more by ear. Um, but using the Suzuki books isn't really the method. It's just using the books. Uh, oh, okay. Technically, a lot of the music in Suzuki books are just public domain, like stuff from Bach and Mozart and all that stuff. So good question. Okay. I was just curious because I do know how to read music. So I, I kind of didn't look at those book that series of books but i suppose music is music good yeah absolutely and uh what's really cool about this platform too guys is that it allows up to 50 people at one time um i love that although the only time we're ever going to have you know even like 10 or 20 is so, sort of the introductory classes because those are free but eventually if you guys sign up for them uh the actual paid classes there's going to be from say three people up to like 10 people per class and you actually see that in the specs, you'll be able to click and sort of understand like how many people are going to be in this class. Uh, the less people, the more sort of intimate it's going to be with, you know, me telling you guys exactly what, what you can improve on. And some of the teachers will be able to give you guys more of that personal advice. So if you're looking for more of that sort of um, closer back and forth sort of class, I highly recommend just sort of seeing how many seats are available for each course and um, signing up from there. So technically um, our, our vibrato workshop, which is Wednesday at nine o'clock, uh, that's a 10 seat class. So once it reaches 10 people, it's going to be closed. Um, and then our um, less uh, people class is actually the one you signed up for, Paul, is tomorrow and that's six people. So right now there's just you and, and anybody else that wants to sign up for that. So whoever signs up for that will probably get to know Paul pretty well. <laughs> That's fine. I'm really excited about these classes. I, I've been trying to do this sort of concept since, um, since 2012 or 13. And uh, finally, we have sort of the technology to back it. So it's exciting. All right, we have a couple other raised hands. Uh, Marsha, how are you doing, Marsha? I'm good, thank you. Uh, my question is on the classes. I've been playing for a few years. I still consider myself an amateur. I go to jams, slow jams, that is. And uh, I love to learn vibrato, and I've had I've had lessons over the years. But the real question is, like, a, is it introductory level really the way to start for the classes? Um, I did Suzuki like four years ago, but probably not with any lot of discipline. <laughs> so sure. that's kind of just the guidance there. Sure. No, it's a great question. Yeah. So I, I defined the different levels. Uh, so we have levels one through nine. So I actually even put on there also, when you click on the level, you'll be able to see sort of what that level means. I worked on that last night. So for example, for uh, level one, it's sort of for people that have been playing under three months. That's sort of the recommendation. Um, I also put in there, like, you should know how to do these positions. So like level five, I don't remember exactly what I put, but it might say like, you should probably know how to do uh, fourth position, sixth position. Um, so it sort of defines uh, what sort of, you know, is expected of you at that level. Um, if you've been playing, say, a year or two, you know, you might be around level three, um, but maybe you want to try level four. It's not like we're going to say to you, no, you can't do level four because you did level three. So we just sort of give it to you guys to sign up and sort of check it out. But let's say you thought level four was really hard, then um, you might want to sign up for level three next time sort of thing. So, so I, I just have a question. Then, then, so the classes that are coming up now, you, I didn't pay enough attention, I guess, to see whether those levels were actually – in the classes, you know, defined in the classes to actually know the few that are out there right now, how to select. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like right now I, I have some just real basic uh, classes to start. There's going to be a lot more options sort of as this grows. Uh, but right now I have the Suzuki book one course. So technically if you want to sort of refresh a little bit and sort of get used to some technique stuff, if you haven't heard that in a while, and I'd be, you know, sort of giving you that back-to-back -back or face-to-face feedback. 
I think that would be a great class. That's tomorrow at eight. Um, the vibrato workshop is Wednesday at nine. And that really is for anybody that wants to learn vibrato. So that could be for people that are just starting. That could be for people that have been playing for 20 years, but want to sort of refresh on vibrato. So that's sort of included in that description. Um, as far as the level, it says general. So it's not actually saying like it's level three or four or whatever. So good question. Any others, uh, Marsha? No, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, great. So yeah, if you guys uh, have any other questions. Oh, I see. Um, Paul just raised his hand. Paul, how you doing? Just to clarify, when you say times, you're talking Eastern, right? Everything's in Eastern time. Yes, I'm in Michigan. Um, but yeah, we have teachers it's like Suzanne, for example, she's on the West Coast. So, you know, I bet she'll be putting some stuff out there that might be uh, on the late side for some, some people more on the Eastern time zone. So that could be nice. Maybe if you guys, you know, would like to um, do classes really late at night, maybe some of Suzanne's classes are sort of in your time frame. Um, you know, some teachers are going to offer maybe morning classes, which might actually fit really well for European students. Um, but yeah, we sort of just have all these, we're going to have all these different offerings awesome. and uh, teachers will be filling, you know, out the details and then you guys can decide from there if, if you want to sign up. Cool. All right. Um, Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower all hands. I have the ability to do that because I don't know actively who's maybe raising their hands. So if you guys want to raise your hands at this time, feel free. Also, if you guys want to give feedback about the platform or anything else, uh, feel free to do that. We'd love to hear from you. Yes, Mary. Hi, I was just wondering if you had come up with um, a price for each class because I belong to your membership on the Violin Tutor Pro also. Mm -hmm. And just wondering if you finally decided on a, on a price. Yeah, so we, uh, we had a lot of meetings last week with the violin teachers, and we sort of decided that um, it's best if the teacher defines the prices for the classes. Okay. So I've sort of defined uh, ones for me that I'm going to be offering. Um, the one tomorrow is $40 for four classes, so it's technically $10 a class. Um, some teachers might be a little bit less than that. Um, technically, I'm doing the three free classes, including this one today. So those are more just sort of to get you guys familiarized. Obviously, when we're doing a class, it's going to be more playing and more back and forth. Um, and then my vibrato one I did at, um, I think, $10 per hour uh, class, and that's going to be with 10 people. So normally, the more people, probably the less cost. Uh, if it's more of a you know, three-person class, it might be more. But the teachers sort of define what that is, what that looks like. And um, so it has to obviously make sense for them. So they might even have like a minimum where they don't want to have any more than, or they have to at least have two signups, for example, for it to make sense for them. Um, so we have that set up with the software, which is really cool. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. So yeah, Suzanne, just wanted to maybe call on you a second. So are you uh, sort of understanding things as far as the, the Zoom? And are you excited to teach some, some people the violin? <laughs> I am, yes. Yes, I like the Zoom platform very much. It's it's a lot better from what I've seen. So. Yeah. Being that we have mostly everybody here right now, do you want to just give everybody sort of a background about yourself and um, where you're from, how many students you have, and how long you've been playing for? Sure. Um, I'm from Salem, Oregon. I've been playing for about 16 years probably, and um, quite actively. And I went to college at the University of Puget Sound in Tacoma, Washington, and um, studied music education there. Um, I've been teaching for like 12 years, I think. Um, and I have a private studio in Salem with about 30 students right now. So I'm looking forward to adding some group classes to that. We're, we really have enjoyed having you, and you've done such a wonderful job helping students in Intercom. As um, For those of you guys that don't know what Intercom is, it's basically a platform where you guys are able to ask questions directly to us through ViolinTutorPro.com, and then um, any of us violin teachers respond back based on who's available. So Suzanne's covered a lot of questions in there, so you guys have probably seen her name. And yeah, uh, Paul says, great job. Yep, he's, getting, he's got a lot of good advice and tips. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about sort of the vision of wh where we're going. I mean, we have Violence Your Pro just being this sort of portal where, you know, you guys can get all your questions answered. You guys can get to know other people. We have a lot of active 
um, you know, members. We have a lot of people that are really active on our adult violin learning page. So we're really building this great community. Now it just has to sort of get to that next level of you guys getting to know others and, and having assignments. Cause yeah, it's sort of, you know, it could be a little disorganized if you guys just sort of watch random YouTube videos, right? But if you actually have an assignment, if you don't have a private teacher anywhere within a hundred miles of you, which I do know a lot of people like that, um, this is sort of the next best thing. And honestly, I think it's even potentially more fun because it's interactive and it's know other people. So, so yeah, that's sort of the vision. And for the next three days, or yeah, today, tomorrow, and uh, Wednesday, I'll be sort of training you guys on this platform, answering your questions. Uh, would love to, yeah, have you guys in some of the courses. And uh, yeah, just keep coming back to Violin Tutor Pro to sort of see which courses are being offered. But technically, all the violin teachers are being trained right now with how to use the platforms, which will take a little bit. But eventually, yeah, there'll be classes offered by Suzanne and Diane and uh, Scott Adams, Vanessa, uh, Cameron, and Chantel. So those are all violin teachers that are uh, being trained right now. So it's really exciting. We're going to have all different course offerings. We also just had a couple of fiddle teachers email us, sort of interested in offering fiddle classes. So if you guys have interest in that, there'll be even really exciting, um, you know, how to play certain fiddle tunes. Uh, I know some of you guys have interest in that. All right, questions. Um, let me go ahead and unraise hands a second. Let's see here. Also, I'm recording this, so you guys will be able to see this later. I've never seen the, the outcome of the recording, so I'm really curious to see that. Cool. Yeah, we have quite a few people here, I think, too. We have about 20 of us here. That's great. Welcome, everybody that came in a little bit late. What's nice about this platform is if it does mute you guys when, you're, when, you, when you come a little bit late, which is good, because technically we, we wouldn't want people coming in with, like, the TV on or something in the background. It can sort of interrupt the class. So that's a nice feature of this platform as well. So, Oh, one thing I, I'm noticing, uh, you guys have the ability to, to chat, too, if you guys want to maybe try to see if you can figure that out. I see Diane just said something, everybody. Um, you have the ability to private message people that are here, as well as uh, send a message to everybody if you want to. So that's just sort of when you get to know each other, you can just sort of say, hey, how you doing or whatever, and how, how's progress coming along? So, <laughs> All right, raise hand. We have one raise hand. Terry, yes, go ahead, Terry. Um is your Suzuki class going to be at the same time every week, or is that how you have it set up, the one that starts tomorrow? Yeah, so basically um, all the courses that we have uh, the ability to set up in the system are going to be sort of the same time every week for, say, two weeks or four weeks. So the one I set up tomorrow is for four weeks, so that will be every, every week um, for the next four weeks tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, so yeah, and what's nice about the, the courses and when you only have so many people in a class is uh, that sort of back-to-back -back feedback where, you know, I can look, watch you play. I'm sure Suzanne can do this as well. You know, just watching you guys, we can sort of tell what you're doing wrong, what things can be improved. But do it, we'll, we'll always do it in a way that's not, you know, like, uh, you know, piercing. You know, it's always going to be nice, it's going to be friendly, constructive. Um, you know, we might not see you guys bending your wrist coming this way, so we might suggest you guys to bend the wrist. Um, we might notice your wrist is like this when you're playing with the left hand. We might notice your fingers are sort of low when you're playing, sort of affecting your, your speed. So all these things we're going to sort of be able to tell and just uh, make suggestions. And uh, even if it's a Suzuki Book 1 class, I'm sure you'll come out of it with a lot of technique tips. So, All right. Um, Kate, go ahead. Question. Oh, you're muted. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I've been holding my hand, my left hand wrong the entire time I've been learning. <laughs> so I've been undoing that this week and getting my knuckles up and all that. And I learned that from you, from one of your uh, lecture type things on Facebook. Nice. Yeah, and I want to call on Diane right now. So, Diane, I mean, have you seen that with your studio? Just like students that just technically don't realize that they're doing things wrong and then all of a sudden, you know, you can just help them see them what they're doing wrong and sort of get them on, on the right track. Have you noticed that with your students? Uh, well, most of my students, I'm semi-retired right now, so I have very few. I've had up to 40 students at one time. 
but um, most of my students are beginners, so I really focus on the positions, the hand positions right from the beginning. But that's very typical, uh, the left hand kind of flattening like that when uh, you're not holding the violin with the head, you know, exclusively. So some people that are self-taught don't realize that, that it's really important that you need to practice holding the violin with your head and then letting go. They don't do that. And fiddlers don't do that. So they never move out of first position. So if you want to shift and if you want to do vibrato, you have to hold the violin with your head only. That's right. And uh, <clears throat> technically, I didn't even introduce you, Diane. I just figure everybody knows you because you uh, help so many people on our, on our pages. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me give you the opportunity to sort of just uh, tell everybody where you're from and uh, how long you've been playing for or anything else you want to say. Oh, okay. So I'm born and bred Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, so that may be my accent you notice or not. I don't know. I've lived in West Virginia since I was 17. Um, I went to West Virginia University for my bachelor's degree in music education. And then I moved on to study with John Kendall at Southern Illinois University. John Kendall, you could Google him. He is the person who brought the Suzuki method to the Americas in the, mm, I guess, early 70s, late 60s. Uh, he studied with Dr. Suzuki. And so uh, my training as a, uh, for my master's degree was working with him and knowing exactly what was the thought behind each piece, what technique is being taught, what you should be learning when you're playing each piece. A lot of traditional teachers use the literature, the Suzuki literature, but they don't really attach the technique that should be taught. So that's kind of uh, what you'll be getting when if we work together with book, uh, with uh, Suzuki books. And um, from there, I lived in Arkansas for eight years, <laughs> played in the symphony there, and then came back to West Virginia to raise my family. And um, I have Two children, really talented. One's a computer scientist. The other is an opera singer, pursuing her master's degree right now uh, in Oklahoma, of all places. But i um, really happy to work with Michael, and um, it's an honor to be able to, to uh, talk with you all today. Yes, and you're awesome, Diane. You're the best manager I've ever had. I've only had one manager, but you're the best. But oh, no, that's, that's not a downgrade to how great you've been. <laughs> so. Uh, so great. Uh, well, let's take maybe a few more questions and, um, yeah, then we'll be done. So we're going until about four 30 today. And then, yeah, for any of you guys that are watching after, you know, today, you're not actually in the live class. You can come tomorrow morning at 11 and technically we can fit up to 50 people in here. Um, and you guys can all sort of test out your, your video and make sure it's working and all that. So, um, yeah, let me just take a couple more questions here. So yeah, Fran, how you doing, Fran? I'm good. Um, question: Will these um, all these courses be repeated, you know, all the time? Because I can't uh, do this next first session of class, but because of vacations. So, yeah. we, will all these courses be repeated, you know, over and over? Um, yeah. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is putting all the videos, and I'm technically recording this right now, um, in the Violence Your Pro membership area. So if you guys are members, you'll be able to access all the lessons from all teachers from any sort of date in the past. Um, so yeah, that's a $19 a month membership. And that also gives you access to all my sort of videos on how to play violin and all the technique stuff. Uh, my wife's actually working on sort of uh, creating this really nice visual uh, area for the new group class uh, videos that are going to be posted in there um, soon daily. It's going to be a lot of stuff from, you know, just all the teachers posting classes. And um, yeah, so, you know, technically though, if you're not a member, you sort of have to come to the class live to see it. Um, it's not going to be where you uh, can see it um, unless you're a member to see the recording. So. But the, right. but the live classes will be repeated live, right? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. absolutely. And also, by the way, um, someone's phone is ringing, by the way. <laughs> it's mine. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, that's a great question. So basically, um, there's actually like curriculums that teachers are going to be setting up. So for example, I have a curriculum of, of a Brado workshop. And then I have another one that's the Suzuki Book One uh, workshop. 
And those are actually gonna be reviewed by students after they see them. So you guys will actually be able to see sort of reviews of um, how people enjoyed the class. I really like that concept. And um, all those will technically sort of happen again. Um, so that answers your question, hopefully that it will repeat. Um, but it's progressive up until that point, right? So if it's a four course class, you'll have sort of a class one, two, three, four, that's sort of progressive. Like everybody's gonna be in the class um, for those four weeks and then it sort of starts over again um, from there. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Now you gotta get your phone. I'm ignoring it, it was probably a telemarketer. <laughs> they hung up. Great, and by the way, you guys are doing an excellent job keeping muted and sort of managing the, the call. It's actually really good for the first time, I'm impressed. I mean, there's about 20 of us here and you guys are all doing that really well, so I appreciate that. Cool, um, next, uh, Meg, go ahead. So that means that when you watch it back, it's not like the old webinars where it was just an audio, you'll actually see the video. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, GoToWebinar is a really great platform, but that was the, the, the issue with GoToWebinar was it didn't have video recording, so this does. So yes, that's, uh, that's a good thing. All right, let's see who else raised their hand. Um, Paul. Hey, I just, I have to run. I got a storm coming in. I got to finish my yard. But hey, I just want to say thanks, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And this, this is awesome. Uh, awesome platform and also thanks Suzanne and and Diane for your input on helping me so thanks, thanks Paul. Paul have a good day we can with again. see y'all later have a yeah, great day tomorrow bye 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 very cool all right um Suzanne yeah you have a question yeah so I'm just wondering you said there's 20 people here I can only see nine on my screen is it just because they came in late and now can they talk to us or not? Uh, I'm sort of just frantic uh, with everything I'm doing. So maybe I, I uh, overcounted. <laughs> um, let me see. We got, okay, not, not that many. We have about 13, I think. Yep, 13, something like that. Michael, uh, every, anyone else uh, have the list of people who are here on the right-hand side of your screen? At the yeah. top, it says participants 14. Oh, 14, okay, yep. So, and yeah, I don't know if you guys are able to figure out how to talk to each other, um, but that's something you can do, like maybe, uh, you know, sort of ask each other questions as I'm talking or the presenter's talking. That's something you can do. Um, so, Diana, I, I see you figured that out. At the bottom of your screen, if you'll put it down over the there's chat, and you'll see a number. If you on that, a little chat box will come up. You'll be able to see what's going on in the chat. And to close it, you can just click that chat button again. Can yep. I say something to Suzanne? Go ahead. Suzanne, up at the top right, it says gallery view. If you click on that, you can see small pictures of all the people. Yes. Maybe it's just because I'm on my iPad, but I only see nine of you. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you guys uh, can just give me a raise of hands, um, I'm going to clear all the raising hands right now. Um, I just want to know uh, if you guys like the Zoom platform. Um, raise your hand if you guys think it works well, if there's, you know, overall it seems to be functioning um, like we would need it to function for classes. So raise your hand if you're on that boat. Cool. All right. So most of you guys, that's great. It's good to know. So yeah, and also we can uh, post surveys too, which is cool. Um, that was a go-to webinar feature, but we can sort of ask you guys questions before the class, like, um, you know, what have you been struggling with this week? And then sort of the teacher can actually sort of make that the starting points maybe based on that feedback. So that's cool. Um, sort of things to, you know, bring up in the, in the class before it starts, so. Cool, all right, any other questions? Comments, concerns? Oh, I guess we're getting, well, let me, let me lower all hands. Um, yeah, if you guys wanna raise them again, if you have a question. Uh, oh, uh, Val, Valerie, hey, how you doing? Val Teach. Are you here? Yeah, you might have to unmute yourself. 
Yeah, is anyone else experiencing uh, audio and video breakup? It seems to be worse than what it was on Saturday. Okay, um, well, let me take a vote. Um, let me unlower hands. If you guys can raise your hand if you're dealing with any sort of lag, any sort of sort of issues with the, the connection, raise your hand at this time. Okay. Okay, so a few of you. So yeah, I, I have noticed that um, it seems to sort of start off really good. Then as there's a lot of people that are in the class, it sort of, sort of uh, gets more challenging because of the bandwidth, I think, because there's so many people that are coming into the class. So technically the actual courses will just be so many people. Um, they won't have, you know, 30 people in them. So I think uh, with that said, I think it will be probably really good with less people but um, yeah, I'm sorry that it's not uh, perfect. That's always the, the thing with live uh, classes. Um, Technology has always been the, the struggle. But um, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's, work, it's working really well over on this end. Um, the audio is good. I'm on my phone technically, so it's really working well uh, on this end. I can hear you guys perfect, um, which is important, obviously, the teacher to hear the students and sort of know what you guys are having trouble with. So. Good, any other questions? Let's see, uh, let me lower all hands. Raise your hand again if you have a question. Marsha, go ahead. Uh, you might have to unmute yourself, Marsha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking on the website looking for an indication of how long each class is, the sessions. I know you mentioned the vibrato is an hour. I don't see it, or maybe I'm looking at the wrong place on site. Okay, yeah, um, if you go to the website and you're on the group lessons page, there should be a, a button that says like info. Yeah. Um, and then, okay, so you're in there. Did, yeah. So you're not seeing anything that says the, the class length in there? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. We might have to put that as a general note. Like uh, I thought that it was would be shown. Uh, it might just be a, a, a functionality uh, adjustment, but for sure um, I will be checking that after this class. Oh, I, I, I see it now. There's there's a tab for schedule, and oh, it's like tomorrow shows a half hour. There we go. Yep. So some of the classes will be half hour. Some will be hour. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's uh, the way to sort of see all the specs of the classes is click on that info button. The other question I have really has to do about group classes. Um, so uh, it sounded like we'd be playing during the class and I don't, um, so it's just a, how, how does that go then? If there's 10 of us all playing at the same time, <laughs> how we get anything individual about us. I've taken group piano lessons and they were a disaster because people who knew how to play pretty much ran the class and the rest of us like, eh, I'm pretty lost. So I just got a little bit on how that works. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of just, um, you know, feeling out the class, sort of um, figuring out which students, you know, really want that, you know, um, face to face feedback. Some are gonna be probably less of wanting that than others or some more than others. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think just sort of uh, having a time limit per student, making sure that everybody's muted at the right times. I actually have the ability to mute everybody at the same time. So if I feel like you guys are being too loud, um, I can mute you. And um, I think, yeah, that's sort of just the teacher's responsibility to sort of um, make sure the class is being run well with uh, you know, the students getting good feedback uh, technically with an hour class with 10 people, um, you know, that's plenty of time for every student to get some good tips. Um, but yeah, I, I told people in the last class, um, if you're going to do classes like that for, you know, telling my teachers, you're probably going to have to drink a lot of coffee because you have to talk fast, right? You have to get a lot done, get a lot, you got to be efficient. It can't be, um, you know, uh, toss, you know, just sort of chatting around. You got to really get, get down to business once the class starts. Um, technically, before the class starts, we encourage you guys to come in a half hour before if you want. Uh, to sort of get to know each other, hang out, and that's where you can just be general with, um, with whatever. And then once the class starts, um, I encourage the teachers that are here to also make note of that, that we definitely want to get down, just like if you guys were to do a private lesson, obviously it's um, making sure we're efficient and um, you know, making it worthwhile for everybody. So yeah, uh, it's just a matter of feeling that out, but technically you guys could prefer to maybe just do classes that are less people. So like there are classes that only have maybe three or four people maximum, 
you could sign up for those. I encourage t teachers to create those sort of classes. Um, I'm pretty fast and efficient. I know I can handle 10 people with an hour class and, and, and you guys would get a lot out of it. So that's why I offered that, but um, that might not be ideal for maybe uh, somebody that's just starting out with the platform. Maybe they want to do more like three or four people or whatever. So good question. All right, let me take one more and then we'll be all done for the day and you guys can maybe come tomorrow um, and check out that class as well. You guys are more than welcome. So um, like I said, I do free classes. Uh, where you guys can ask questions and get to know the teacher. Eventually, other teachers are going to be doing exactly what I'm doing. Um, or, you know, you guys can, um, yeah, ask some advice, tips. That's fine here and there. Um, so, yeah. All right, last question from Marsha. That was me. I forgot to unraise my hand. Oh, okay. Any other questions? Raise your hand at this time if you do. Or just if you want to make a comment, that's fine as well. Maybe that would be fine. Uh, Diane, yes. I was just wondering if you wanted to play a couple notes. Just let us hear what the tonal quality is. Okay. Um, sure. Oh, actually, I don't have my violin. That's here. fine. I was sure. just Sorry, guys. I, will, I promise I will bring my violin for the class, for the course. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I figured there'd be a lot of questions. People sort of get to know the platform. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll try to bring my violin though for that morning class at 11. And then uh, tomorrow night at eight o'clock, I encourage all you guys to sign up for that. That's my Suzuki book one course. Uh, it's gonna be four weeks, a uh, half hour each week. Uh, we currently just have one sign up, uh, but there's six seats. So there's five more seats available for that. And then uh, Wednesday, we're gonna be doing a class at eight o'clock Eastern time at night. And then right after that, we're gonna be doing a vibrato uh, workshop so if you guys have any interest in improving on your vibrato, you could technically attend the free um, introductory class at eight and then the vibrato workshop at nine and that's just $10. So um, that's 10 seats available for that. I'm guessing that's gonna be, that's gonna fill up because everybody wants to improve their vibrato. So <laughs> hopefully. Very good, all right. Well, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate you all here and um, I'm really excited about these classes. I think it's going to be really great. Uh, Diane, do you want to say anything uh, as we conclude here? Just want to thank everybody for coming today, and it's a pretty exciting prospect. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do with this format, and and uh, I hope that the teachers feel really inspired to think about what they'd like to teach. I've been getting um, some some notes from uh, lots of different people and I have a list of what you would like some of them and we'll talk more about that maybe in the next open class. Sounds good. Um, Suzanne, anything else you want to say? It's good to meet everybody and see some of your faces instead of just your name on a on an email. So <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> forward to teaching some of you guys and I've already got some classes in my head that I'd like to put up see if I can help you guys out. Yeah, and I really think this is going to ac drastically accelerate your learning. Uh, it's going to have accountability. It's going to have, you know, solid instruction. Uh, it's going to give you guys the ability to avoid bad habits. That's huge with violin. So, yeah, I think this is going to be really great. It's sort of hard to give tr critique to everybody's individual videos on the adult learning page. So I think this is a solution for that and also a great way for teachers to, you know, um, help, a, help a lot of people out there. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll hope to see you guys tomorrow. And um, feel free to email me at michael at superiorviolins.com if you have any questions. I'll be All posting right. this video on the adult learning page, uh, so you guys will be able to see it later as well. We'll see how that turns out. All right. Thanks, Michael. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. All right. Bye. Have, a good, have a good day. Bye. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.